Hello, my name is Jasmine Poor, and I'm here at Roper Mountain Science Center. And today we are gonna discuss and talk about day and night. So I want you to think about during the day's sky, what can we observe? Maybe you can go outside today or take a look out your window and see what you can notice in the sky and make some observations, maybe draw a picture or write down some ideas of what you can observe. Maybe you can look and maybe you see some white things. What do we call those that are in the day sky? Next, let's talk about the night sky. What do we observe during the night sky? What can we see? Think about how that might be different from our day sky. Now, hmm. What causes day and night? Well, that's a really good question. And it's one that we can take a look at ourselves. So I want you to take a look here. During the day sky, we are receiving light from the sun. We are receiving light from the sun, which is the only star in our solar system. And that light is at any given time covering half of our earth. So half of our earth is experienced daylight and half of it is not experiencing that daylight from the sun. Well, let's take a look at what this looks like for us. So I need you to go ahead and stand up for me. We are gonna demonstrate what this looks like and I want you to pretend that your eyes are where you are located on the earth. We're gonna focus on all of our light being located behind me from the sun. And I need you to raise your left hand for me because our earth rotates in a counterclockwise formation. So when you take a look, find that left hand, find that hand that makes an L when you hold your fingers up. Now we are gonna pretend, we need to use our pretending, that all of the light is coming from the sun that's located behind me. So make sure you are standing up and ready to rotate on your axis. All right, right now the sun is directly overhead. This is just like our daytime. Now let's turn towards that left wall. So we're gonna slowly rotate on our axis. You'll notice that the sun is slowly, from, the, um, from your TV, is slowly going out of view. This is like the sun is setting or evening time. We're getting into evening time. Now turn all the way around. Remember, we're pretending all of the light is coming from the TV. And you'll notice we don't receive any light from that TV. This is like what time? Nighttime, that's right. The earth is not receiving any light where we are located from the sun. And continue turning around and you'll notice that sun's gonna start to come up. Remember to keep your neck pretty straight. That sun's gonna start coming up right out of the corner of your eye. This is just like morning time. So we're noticing, now we're gonna continue to turn and we're back around. We have rotated all the way around just like a full day on earth because the sun is directly overhead now. This typically in a day takes place in 24 hours on earth. We just completed it in about 24 seconds or just a little longer. But I want you to realize, did the sun move at all? No, that's right, it was the earth that moved. So it is through earth's rotation that we see day and night. Now I wanna challenge all of you to go outside and make some observations about what you see during the day sky. You can look out your window or possibly even go outside and make some notes throughout the day, see where that sun is located, and then wait a few hours and see if you can notice it again. Now don't forget, you never wanna look directly at the sun because the sun is very, very powerful and it can hurt your eyes. Well, good luck observing today. And thank you so much for joining me.